What do we need to stop teaching the children? That failure is something to be ashamed of and to avoid at all costs. We all fail sometimes and we need to be able to accept that. That you need to be friends with everyone. If he's mean to you, he likes you. To just ignore bullies. As a former teacher, it does nothing to address the issue. The bullying persists 100% of the time. I don't believe in forced apologies. They're not legitimate apologies and the other child knows this. I also don't feel adults should force children to accept an apology. Forced apologies and acceptances don't have any benefits. I am a third grade teacher. My students know I won't force an apology. Instead, I speak to the students about their choices and how it made others feel. I've found that, once students realize what they did, they do apologize on their own and the other student does accept it because they know the apology is sincere. Often times, students will even try to resolve the issue on their own. It's common for students to ask me if they could speak alone in the hallway. They then return proudly stating that they resolved their issue. Obviously, if something is not resolving itself, I'll continue to help students through it. I will also step in for more significant disagreements. However, I've found that students are able to resolve issues an overwhelming majority of times. However, they are never truly resolved with forced apologies and acceptances of forced apologies because the underlying issue is still there. I before E, except after C. This rule has so many exceptions that it should not be considered a rule. That while they are special, they are not any more special than anyone else. That you need talent to be good at something. They are being mean to you because they like you. Please isn't a magic word. It often won't get you what you want. I'm sorry, doesn't erase a wrong and is only one small part of an apology. Which the wronged party is not obligated to accept. You can get what you want if you're nice. It teaches children how to be manipulative and dishonest. Instead, teach them to handle, no. Too many people grow up and get offended at being told, no. Teachers and parents want their children to learn how to ask for things in a polite way but not how to handle rejection. My brother teaches children and he will actively tell kids, no, and encourage them to find alternative solutions that don't infringe on someone's decision. To accept collective punishment. Whomever did something to get in trouble for is who gets the punishment. So many teachers do this to kids and it just breeds resentment for both the teacher and the kid who keeps getting the whole class in trouble. I don't want my kids to be prepared to accept this as adults and just deal with it from the government, society, their employer, etc. Breakfast cereal is healthy rolling on the floor laughing to push down their feelings and never cry. You don't heal unless you work through your emotions. Support them. Don't scold. Replacement words for vagina, penis, etc. It's not inappropriate for a child to know basic anatomy. And this is only advantageous to predatory people. That doctors are scary. Many parents threaten their kids with the doctor when kids don't listen to them. Please teach your children how to not spray spit and mucus everywhere. Cover sneezes and coughs with inner elbows. Keep fingers out of noses and mouths. Don't buzz lips. It sprays spit. Being a kindergarten teacher is living in one big petri dish. You are perfect. No, you are not. It's important to know your weaknesses and focus on your strengths. Boys. Don't hit girls, girls. Don't hit boys, should be taught equally. Obviously there are exceptions like self-defense. Also, 
boys. No is no girls. No is no. Edit to say and clarify. We should stop teaching this as only a one-sided thing. It should be taught to both equally. That we have to invite the entire class to your birthday party. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.